Well, the town of Amherst is considering a ban on the sale of puppies. News 4's Michelle McClintock explains why. The images are enough to make any animal lover angry. These are pictures from puppy mills, mass breeding kennels where dogs are confined to small cages and often horrific conditions. The dogs are then sold to brokers who in turn sell them to stores that sell them to anyone looking to buy a dog. And that's a practice this Amherst board member wants to stop. This is a way to end even the speculation. Mark Manna says banning the sale of dogs in stores altogether isn't an unusual request. He talked about it at a public meeting to discuss plans to put the ban into legislation. Cities that have done this, uh, their, their pet stores have adopted a more humane business model while focusing on service and sales of equipment and training of animals and not so much you know, the flesh and blood of puppies. But it's something that certainly doesn't sit well with Steve Lane from Steve's Wonderful World of Pets. There is another side. He came to this public and meeting tonight to set the record straight about the dogs he sells. We do not sell, never have, and never will sell puppy mill dogs. But some aren't buying what he's selling. Steve's store has been in the firing line before. This is a protest from April. Lane says he buys his dogs from a reputable breeder in Missouri. I've been there, and I do have lots of proof of that. I've met breeders. I've been to their facility. I've seen what they do, and I know the screening process that they go through. But the group Western New York Citizens Against Puppy Mills says otherwise. They're not trying to shut down breeders in Amherst, they say, just ban stores from selling dogs. And while the group says that they're not targeting Steve's wonderful world of pets, it is the only retailer that sells dogs in Amherst. The issue is on the agenda at the February 7th Amherst Town Board meeting. Reporting live, Michelle McClintock for the 10 o'clock news. Thank you, Michelle.